little airplane that you've got here, it looks like a, a World War II replica. What, uh, what is it? Uh, thanks, Dave. This is a, sort of a replica of an 01 bird dog. Bird dog? Yeah. I've never heard of bird dog. L-19 or 01, yeah. used in uh, Vietnam era. And uh, I think even the Korean era used uh, L-19. Now, uh, most uh, of this airplane, from what I've been listening to, is made out of wood? Uh, it's actually a wood structure and uh, styrofoam inlay with uh, fiberglass covering. Now, is that uh, the same as what the bird dog was in Vietnam, or have you changed the type of uh, construction materials used? No, they were aluminum. This is uh, composite. Okay. Why have you gone to the, uh, the, the wood rather than the, the uh, 4130 chromoly steel type used lodge that some of them are used? Uh, I think that probably there are things about chromoly steel that's better, but uh, your average home builder is uh, not usually got the skills for metal airplanes, and this is something that uh, seems to be pretty friendly for people to work with. Uh, composite type construction is something that the average person with average skills can uh, master pretty quickly. Now, are you offering this uh, airplane to the market then? I, I sell plans, and uh, there is a kit available from Wix Aircraft Supply. Now, the, the plans then, how are they coming? Uh, what size are they, and how many of them? That type of thing? It's a construction manual type uh, plan. There's uh, 92 technical drawings. There's uh, cross-references, text, and uh, parts lists. Uh, and it's all keyed to uh, Wix Aircraft Supplies part numbers. What the, uh, the engine on this is not a two-stroke either. No, this is a Volkswagen, uh, regular automotive power plant. Uh, nothing special about it. And matter of fact, everything you see is automotive except for the uh, stacks and uh, prop hub. Now, have you taken this right out of the Volkswagen uh, bug or whatever, and then right. just mounted it in there? The changes. Sure did. Sure did. No. No, no, no special changes, just uh, the, the carburation is different. You can see it's got an updraft carburetor. And uh, this uses uh, a battery ignition system. This is a standard Volkswagen uh, distributor. And it uses a John Deere alternator. It's got a, a very lightweight uh, alternator on it. I don't know if you can see it. It's uh, back here on the back side. You can see a little yellow arrow on that. That's the John Deere alternator. Yeah, and that uh, provides a pretty hot spark uh, electrical system and it's uh, about uh, $350 for this electrical system and uh, the mag I think by the time you buy the adapter and everything is closer to $700 so it's about low cost. Now what about the, the propeller? Is it a direct drive system or are you using a reduction drive? No this is a direct drive. I'm using a Great Plains hub and I'm using a Tennessee propeller. Now, let's get back into the construction of the airplane. Now, what, uh, for example, the wings? What uh, type of construction are we using in the wings? They're uh, styrofoam wings with a wood plank spar. And they use uh, foam rib. And they, uh, basically the airplane is shaped in foam and then uh, covered with fiberglass. Oh, so that the wing covering is not like a, a stitz or a seconite, it's a, a fiberglass no, cover? No. Uh, matter of fact, I don't know if you can see inside the wing here, but. It's kind of a, a rigid wing, and uh, maybe you can see a lot of people have asked, so I, I took a little inspection cover off where you can see up in there, but it's uh, regular building insulation styrofoam, blue styrofoam, that you buy at the hardware store or building supply. It's uh, just a cheap way to build a good, strong airplane. When did you first start, uh, or when did the first one uh, build, or when was this one built? This is a prototype, and it's the only one that's flying right now. There are other builders. But it's a fairly new project. Uh, I've only had plans available for a little over 11 months now. And uh, I've been flying this one for, this is my third year, and I've got about 150 hours total time on it. What kind of performance are you getting out of it for uh, takeoff distances, and climbing, and that type well, of thing, cruise speeds? On a, on a hard surface, I've had it off the ground in 200 feet with no wind. And it gives a good, honest 700 feet a minute climb. Uh, we're not uh, always flying on good days, so I hate to exaggerate, but it uh, comes off the ground in plenty less than 500 feet. What about the cruise speed on it? Uh, it cruises, it, it likes about 60, 65 best. I, I've had it at 90 and I've had it at 30. Uh, so, so it's got a very low stall speed on it too? Yeah, I, I've had a flying power on at 30 and it's still very controllable. And no. it, uh, stall speed power off is about 38. What about the control systems on it? Uh, we're in a tail dragger. We're using what standard stick and rudder on it then? Stick and rudder and uh, all uh, full cable type uh, controls. Uh, 
I, what about the building times? And do you feel that anybody would need any special equipment in order to, to put it together? No, actually, I used uh, dimensioned uh, lumber. I had it sawed for me. I don't have electricity at home, so I've done most of this with a pocket knife and a hand saw. You don't have electricity no, at home? No, no, sure don't. This whole airplane was built without the use of electricity? Well, you know, I, I can't say that because I did have the, the lumber dimensioned. So, uh, did I ask about building times? What kind of building times do you feel? Oh. Because the average person, for example, if they were to buy, uh, you say that uh, Wix has got some, some raw materials? Right, they sell a, a uh, raw materials kit. And, uh, well, let's say the average person without skills, uh, I think, should probably plan on seven, eight hundred hours. Uh, a person that's built before uh, 500. And what kind of money would they have wrapped up in it total, do you figure, by the time they finish? Just like you see this, I've got $3,500 in it. $3,500 in this whole airplane? Just, just like it's flying right now. If someone wants to get more information on it, how do they get a hold of you? Well, you could call Wix Aircraft Supply. It's an 800 number, 1-800-221-9425, uh, and, and they have the kit. And Are you going to be flying this down here? Uh, I'm going to probably fly it uh, this afternoon if everything is okay here. I hadn't talked to him yet, but I probably will. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome, Dave.